Hi guys, Yas here with another solved problem in electrical circuit. Today we are going to solve a circuit using the superposition rule. So we have a circuit with four resistors and two sources, one voltage source, one current source. So we want to, uh, we would like to solve the problem and find IX using uh, superposition rule. Before we start, please remember to rate this video, subscribe to my channel and get no notification when I'm posting a new video. Also, please help the channel by sharing videos and telling your friends about it. I have a free ebook on nodal analysis. I'm planning on publishing more free ebooks so you can uh, get your own copy downloaded from my website soldproblems.com I am gonna post the link to the ebook uh, in the description of this video also I have a PDF of this problem that you can download from the website check the video description also for the address so you don't need to write all the things that I'm saying here you just download that uh, PDF file, uh, file and print it. Uh, and while I am talking, there is also a space there for making notes. While you're watching the video, you can make your notes. And also, yeah, I, I said please share the video and remember to rate it. Thank you. So here we have a circuit with four resistors and. Uh, two sources, one voltage source, one uh, current source. Uh, and when we are saying that use the superposition, so what is the superposition rule? Superposition rule say that uh, the response of voltage or current, either of them, in any branch of a linear circuit which has more than one independent source equals the to the algebraic sum of the responses caused by each independent source acting alone, while all other independent sources are turned off, or as we call them, uh, made zero. So we're gonna see how you can make independent sources zero, turn them off. Here, let's start with the current source. Let's start with the current source. To turn a current source off, we need to replace it with an open circuit. The reason for this, like making a current source zero, means what? Means that uh, there shouldn't be any current passing through that source. In that case, the current is zero. So the way to do that is uh, to make it open circuit. If it's open circuit, in that case, there is no current passing through that uh, uh, passing through that current circuit, uh, current source. Sorry. So first, we we want to make this current source zero and find I X the contribution of five volt voltage source on I X. In this case, as I said, we need to make current source zero. And the way to make the current source zero is to uh, replace it with uh, open circuit. In that case, we can say that the current passing through uh, this uh, two points is zero, or equals zero. Okay. So, or we can also still simplify this, get rid of that two terminals and just use a simpler form like this one here. That's our circuit. We need to solve the circuit and find I contribution of I volt uh, on IX. We call that one IX1. Okay. In this circuit, what we have, we have this 2O and 4O in series. 
they are connected like in this node they are in series and also this uh, we have one ohm and three ohm in series in this node here they are connected to each other so we can simplify it further this simplify further this circuit and we we can come up with Let me bring the circuit for this one. This circuit. So in series we have two O plus four O. We have which is six O that goes there, and three O plus one O equals four O that goes there. So now we have what here? We have a circuit with two uh, resistors now these two resistors if you look at closely you you can see that these are in parallel both nodes are connected to each other from here and from there so these two are in parallel and we can simplify this and we the circuit that we get with simplification is just this circuit So we have 4 O in parallel with 6, uh, 6 O here and that means what? That's 4 by 6 divided by 4 plus 6 and that's 2.4 ohms and that goes there. Now we can easily find Ix1. Ix1 is just the current passing through this 2.4 ohm resistor so ix1 equals 5 volt divided by 2.4 ohms and the value is 2.083 amp so that's the contribution of 5 volt voltage source on this ix now we need to find the contribution of uh, current source so the next is to make the current source uh, find the co contribution of current source so for that one we need to make the, the voltage source zero let me bring the circuit here so this is our circuit here we find the contribution of this 5 volt on ix by making this 3 amp 0 the next is to find the contribution of 3 amp on this ix by making this 5 volt 0 so how you make uh, voltage source 0 voltage source 0 is just short circuit you should replace it with short circuit and to remember this what does it mean that we make uh, voltage source zero that means that the voltage should be zero like for current current should be zero for voltage voltage should be zero and one way to make voltage zero is just making sure that two terminals are connected to each other so uh, here we we have this circuit the for making voltage source zero ix2 contribution of the current source on ix is you can find it through uh, uh, solving this circuit and here what we have for now just ignore this ix2 let's solve the circuit and find current of these resistors if we ignore this ix2 we have 2 o and 4 o in parallel why this node is connected and this node is also connected to each other so 2 o and 4 o both are in parallel similarly we have 3 o and 1 ohm 
in parallel because this node is connected and again these nodes are connected to each other so you can say that our uh, circuit is just minus 3 ampere 2 parallel with 4 o and 3 o parallel with 1 o and here we can easily find those values 2 o parallel with 4 o equals what 2 multiplied by 4 divided 2 plus 4 which is 8 by 6 or 4 by 3 o. 3 o parallel with 1 o equals 1 multiplied by 3 1 plus 3 and that's also 3 by 4 o okay The, the first one was 4 over 3 O. This one is 3 by 4 O. So we find those one and we can say that our circuit is actually this one here. That's the circuit. And now we can find the current uh, voltage across those two resistors and using that one later we can find the current of resistors so uh, what is the voltage across this resistors so this one is sorry this one is 4 by 3 ohm this one is 3 by 4 ohm and the current is passing through them is minus 3 amp that's the current that's coming from the current source the same current here minus 3 amp so this let's call this one v1 this one v2 v1 equals 4 by 3 multiply minus 3 amp this is all and we got minus 4 volt and v2 equals 3 by 4 or multiply minus 3 amp and we got 9 by 4 volt minus 9 by 4 volt so if we go back to the circuit here now we have this V1 and V2. What are V1 and V2? V1 is actually this voltage from here to here. And V2 is this voltage. We replace those the resistors with their equivalent. But V1 is just voltage between these two nodes. So here we have this V1 and we can find easily current passing through this 2 o. so what is the current passing through 2 o? that's the v1 divided by 2 o because the voltage across it is just v1 so we get minus 2 volt and uh, ir 3 o. similarly this 3 o here this is v2 divided by 3 o. And we get minus 9 by 4 divided by 3. We get 3 minus 3 by 4 amp. Sorry, this one was amp minus 2 amp. Now that we have I2O and I3O, what we can do here. we can write KCL for this node for this node here we can write KCL let me get rid of okay no probably keep those one so 
So we want to write KCL for this point minus I to O that's the current entering to the node plus I X two that's the current exiting the node this current here plus I 3 O which is also exiting the node so with plus sign equals 0 from here I X 2 is actually I 2 O minus I 3 O and the value becomes how much if you replace this I2 O is minus 2 amp I3 O is minus 3 by 4 so plus 3 by 4 and that's equal so much minus 1.25 amp this is the contribution of the current source on IX we find the contribution of voltage source on ix we call that one ix1 if you remember now ix superposition says that equals ix1 contribution of the voltage source plus ix2 contribution of the current source how much was ix1 ix1 is here 2.083 2.083 plus ix2 which is minus 1.25 and the answer is 0.8333 so we use the superposition rule to find uh, to solve the circuit and find contribution uh, and find ix which means like we find the contribution of each independent source on ix and then add them so now in for this circuit with the same circuit what you can do replace that one ohm resistor Let me get it at this. This one ohm resistor replace it with six ohm and try finding IX. Please find it and make comments below. Thank you very much and uh, let me know if you have any issues or if you have any suggestions. Thanks. Bye.